Hello, I am Mark Faraday, Community Communications Manager at NuNet. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a testnet wallet for the testnet that we are running the NuNet private, uh, public alpha um, on the Cardano testnet. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So there's two different types of wallets that will work with our current web app, NAMI wallet and Eternal wallet. I'm going to be using Eternal wallet, and it's actually simpler with NAMI. There's a few extra steps we have to do with Eternal, and that's why it's good I'm showing you Eternal, so I can show you the extra steps that you need to take. Um so first of all, this is my eternal wallet. This is on mainnet though. So in order to switch to testnet down here at the bottom left uh, right hand corner, you need to click mainnet. And we are on the pre-production testnet. Don't pick any of the, uh, any of the others. Um, choose pre-production. And now we're on pre-production. So we're going to create a wallet, add wallet create wallet and we're just going to call it testnet and I need to make up a password right save and then yeah we're just gonna have one account <laughs> well it wants me to make sure that nobody can see my screen um i'm going to be showing you the seed phrase for this wallet but it doesn't matter one because it's testnet and also because i may just delete this wallet and make a different testnet wallet but i'm going to confirm that nobody can see my screen even though you all can but anyway, this is the seed phrase. I'm going to have to write this down because I think it's going to make me um, check. Oops, that I know all this stuff. Sorry, this is going to take a little while. I'm going to have to write this down real quick. Three, four, five. Yeah, but normally you should never let anybody see your seed phrase if it was a real wallet or a wallet that you're actually going to use. But this is a seed phrase. It's required to uh, recover your wallet if you if it if you lose the device or if the wallet is removed from the device. Um, you have to have the seed phrase or you're, you'll lose all your money in the wallet. Okay, so once you have the seed phrase written down, you can click yes, I wrote it down carefully. Then it's going to make me put them all in again. All right, once you've gotten all the words put in again, you can continue. All right, and now we've now created a testnet wallet on the pre-production testnet. You can see it says TA instead of just A for ADA, so test ADA. Um, now, important thing that we need to do is I've been told by the developers that we currently need to use only one wallet when interacting with the web apps for the new net um, public alpha things. So what we need to do is we need to go to settings and we need to do single address mode. Um, so that will ensure that only one address is oh so it wants me to put in one of the receive addresses so we'll go to receive copy this receive address go back to this uh, single address mode and it wants me to enter in the receive address so this receive address is the only address that we're going to be using um and 
the thing is NAMI only uses one address. So if you're using NAMI wallet, you don't have to do this, but if you're doing eternal, then you need to enable single address mode. So we're gonna save. So now that address is the only address that this eternal wallet will generate. Um, normally it would generate a new receive address every time you use that address, but now it will only use one address and that will work with the current design of our web apps. Um, all right, so once we've um, switched to single address mode, now we need to get some test ADA. So the link to this will be in the description, but um, Cardano provides faucets for test ADA. So we need to go here and choose pre-production testnet because that's the testnet we're using. And we're gonna receive test ADA and the address should still be on my clipboard. So go ahead and paste in the address. Uh, API key, I don't know what that is, but that's optional. So we don't need, don't need to do that. Click that I'm not a robot and request funds. And success. So we need to wait for that transaction to arrive because I need some test data to show you the last thing that we need to do. And there we go. We have, wow, they sent me 10,000 test ADA. Remember, this is test net, so these tokens aren't worth anything. You can't send them to an exchange. You can't sell them for money. So these are just, quote unquote, fake tokens. Um, and the last thing we need to do is now that I have some test ADA, is we need to... Uh, where is it? Collateral. We need to enable collateral. So collateral, if you interact with a smart contract on, on Cardano, you have to have collateral set. It's basically like some extra ADA you have to send to ensure. It, it's a little complicated, but it basically helps prevent DDoS attacks is, you know, you can't spam the network with tons of, you can't spam a, smart contract with tons of um, requests because you have to provide some ADA with each one so it would prevent a ton of DDoS attacks. So I need to set collateral. We need to sign a transaction and then we need to wait for that transaction to go through. There we go. All right, the internal transfer happened and it should have set, yeah, it should have set a collateral for about uh, five test ADA. So you can send up to five ADA when you interact with a smart contract. Um, I assume that our smart contracts use collateral. So you have to have collateral set or you'll have some kind of error. But anyway, that's about it. That was just a quick quick little how-to on how to make a testnet wallet for the pre-production testnet. Um, make sure that you've enabled single address mode and then get some test ADA from Faucet. And then make sure you enable collateral so that you can interact with smart contracts. Um, in future videos, I'll show you how to use the new net web apps. There'll be separate videos for if you're a you're a person wanting to run a job on new net, and then also if you're a compute provider, show you how you could um, claim NTX uh, from if if a job has been run on your device. But um, that does it for this video on just how to set up the test net wallet. Um, and I will see you all later.